China, home to over 1.3 billion people. The emerging superpower that's leading the world's economy. Has changed rapidly since its foundation in 1949. But few really know about the systems behind it, the culture, and most importantly, the people. I'm Owen from China Daily, an Irishman here in China, and I'll be one of your guides in this documentary series exploring 70 years of the People's Republic of China. We've taken an epic trip about 3,000 miles from China's capital, Beijing, right the way down to Hainan Island. We're going to guide you through the familiar and the unfamiliar and reveal to you the secrets of China's development since 1949. As China's only tropical island province, Hainan is unique. You could say Hainan Island is surrounded by blue sea and more than half of the island is covered with rainforests. Over the past years, the island province has pursued the construction of its National Ecological Civilization Pilot Zone. The project aims to protect and maintain Hainan's environment and has made remarkable contributions to both marine life and Hainan's rainforests. We are at a coral conservation area. We're going to see some deep sea diving, check out what we see on the ocean bed on a beautiful day here at the South Side of Sea. Woman 把我们的海底环境做得更好 Thanks to the island's tropical climate, Hainan's rainforests are the best preserved in China. Hainan Tropical Rainforest National Park covers more than 4,400 square kilometers, accounting for about one-seventh of Hainan's total area. Liu Fan King is a forestry engineer at the park. He's responsible for surveying animal life and monitoring environmental changes in the park. Today, he's taking me on a little tour. This is 做这个植物保护的一些科学数据，包括记录它的种类。这个就是我们海南吊楼山国家级自然保护区野外科普教育基地定期会举办一些夏令营，给能让他们从小去培养对动植物保护的一个意识。Feel the spice coming off. Just that one smell, they look to throw them into an old chili or a curry. Hainan has taken advantage of its singular natural resources to develop a vibrant tourism industry, as well as growing agriculture, forestry, and fishery sectors. Yeah, I'm Owen. And how do you guys use technology to encourage this particular environment to help the plants grow? We we're in Hainan Resort Software Community, a project that work first began on in 2009. Ten years later, there are over 4,300 companies based here in what they call a micro-city, where employees live and work together in a software park that is becoming a main driver of China's internet industry. So we make use of the advantage of Hainan, which has the best air quality and the most uh, 
friendly environment. So we provide this office area as the garden office. We have both companies from different areas of China as well as international companies as our residents. Actually, we developed this industry park under the concept of micro city. So which means we provide office facility, residential facilities, kindergarten, hotels, international hospital. So everything can be covered within 15 minutes. President Xi Jinping himself has spoken of the importance of green development on the island saying that protecting Hainan's environment should be central to its wider development and that it should be guided by the idea that lucid waters and lush mountains are invaluable assets. There are possibly few better places in China to see assets as invaluable as in Hainan.